Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. Uh, we are going around talking to the crew, and I'm completing a couple side quests here and there. Just, you know. Commander, chewing the fat. The provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. That doesn't make any sense. That means it's cannibalistic for us to eat anything that had hair. At one time. Oh well. No one accused Gardner of being the brightest tool. You know, the sharpest tool in the shed. Brightest light on the Christmas tree. Best episode of the series. You, you see what I'm getting at. People are talking out there. And I hear it all. See, Kasumi and Zaid, they don't have dialogue wheels like um, a lot of people do. But I still defend the fact that that does not mean they're not great characters. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Better not. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Uh, you can go walk around and you can click on different things in her room and she'll talk about them. I'm going to wait, though, until after I do complete her mission because it'll make more sense that way. But... She says a lot, you just don't get to talk back to her. It's sad, I mean, I wish you could, but by no means does that make her a shallow character. Not to mention her loyalty mission is one of the best in the game. Let's go talk to Zaid real quick. Same thing for him. You can click on things in here and there. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Good for you. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. Get a knife stuck in the right way. And you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. A thread of it drives him mad. Hmm. He's not exactly the most family-friendly guy. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Once again, why I think he would be good on a show like... What was it I call it? Jersey Shore? Look, the trash compactor. It's fascinating. You compact your trash and then you blow it in space. And you can do it over and over. I would have bought the game just for this. Okay, well not quite, but still. I don't even know why they added that there. It's completely useless. There's no way in the world anyone would find that entertaining. Okay, well we've talked to pretty much everyone. And now it's go time to get back to work. Uh, I'm still... I've kind of pretty much decided what I want to do next, and uh, I figured it out pretty much this way. I uh, lack a certain firepower, you might say, because my uh, pistol doesn't have a lot of ammo, and my machine gun, or submachine gun, just completely sucks. So, if this were to be Morden, he would probably say something like, I'll need a better gun, maybe an assault rifle. Assault rifle? No, I can't use assault rifles. Or no shotguns, no shotguns, no, I can't use assault shotguns either. Maybe I should get the Tempest. No, I can get the Tempest yet, because I don't have that ability yet. Or maybe I can go to Kasumi's loyalty mission. Yes, yes, yes. Kasumi's loyalty mission gives you a new submachine gun. So, we're going to go do Kasumi's loyalty mission. I'm sorry if that was painful to listen to. I tried my best. Most of the time, I prefer to go recruit my team and then do all the loyalty missions, but 
in Kasumi's loyalty mission, and not this is much of a spoiler for you, uh, you get a new weapon. And it is a very, very nice weapon that is very sorely needed at the moment. So I shall be doing her mission. Besides, it's fun. And then after her mission, I'm probably going to do some mining. Oh, right. Before I do this, that reminds me. I have to go heal my face. Unread messages. Thank you again. Commander Shepard, Mr. Udina offered to pass this message on to me, or for me. I wish to, again, to express my thanks for your assistance in retrieving my wife's body. Oh, in the first Mass Effect, uh, his wife died in a Geth attack, and uh, the Alliance was poking her with needles and stuff to see why she died. It seemed kind of obvious the Geth killed her, but... Um, and you convinced them to bring the body back. Alright, Chief Medical Officer Chakwas. I've done further investigating... Uh, investigation regarding your facial scarring and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scars will heal on their own. Otherwise, there is surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing regardless of your mental outlook. So if you're a flower child, your face will heal. However, I prefer not to wait until I'm considered a flower child. I want to heal them now. Oh! Of course, to heal them, I have to research. And I can't research on this level. So we're going back up. No, I don't like the scars on his face. Um, I guess for some people, they're, they're, they like making their guy look like a, a bad guy from Fable, but personally I'm not into it. I like having a nice clean shepherd. So, ship enhancements. What? I don't have enough! Son of a biscuit. Alright, I tell you what. I'm gonna go do a whole bunch of mining. And I'm going to put that off camera. I'm not going to make you guys watch that. Then I'm going to go heal my face. And then we'll get straight into the Kasumi mission. How about that? Alright. Well then let me go ahead and just cut this episode off here. Thank you so much for watching. And please tune into the next episode.